Hi, Kelly. I saw the question and I thought I'd answer it real quick. Um, you have an initial amount, amount of uh, some uh, E. coli cells, right? Uh, and they're 55, right? Basically, what you know is they're doubling every 20 minutes. So they're doubling every 20 minutes. Okay. <clears throat> They've the, the first step of it is they want you to find the growth rate or the K. Okay. This takes the form of Y equals C E to the K T. Or since we used A, since I use the variable A naught, I'm going to replace the C with the A naught. Okay. You get Y is equal to 55 E to the KT. Okay. Now we know that they're doubling every 20 minutes, right? Um, meaning in 20 minutes, <clears throat> you're going to have 110 cells, right? Because they doubled. So you're going to replace your time with 20 over 60 because it's a fraction of an hour, right? Uh, 20 over 60 or one third. Okay. Now that you figure that out, you can go ahead and figure out what your K is. You just do 110 divided by 55. That's going to equal 2 is equal to E to the one third K. Now to get rid of the, the E, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take a natural log of both sides. Okay. Natural log will cancel the E out. You're going to get natural log of 2. You can bring the power down. One third K. You can multiply both sides by three, by three, and you get K is equal to three natural log of two. That's your K value, okay? Then it says find an expression. Part B says find an expression uh, for uh, the cell after three hours. Since we figured out our K, part B is just uh, Y equals 55 E now, you can do natural log, three natural log of two, or I'm just going to go ahead and plug it in the calculator. And we get three. And that gives me 2.079, right? 2.079. That's my K. 2.07944. And then times T. Okay? So just find the number of cells after eight hours, right? Um, basically, you see why I converted this to 20 over 60 is so I could put in the 8 right here. I didn't have to put minutes or anything. I didn't have to convert 8 hours to minutes. So I go Y is equal to 55E to the 2.07944 times 8. Okay? When I plug that in the calculator... I get y is equal to 9.3 times 10 to the eighth uh, cells. So that's part B or uh, part C. It says find the rate, uh, find the rate of growth after eight hours, round it to decimal, uh, find the number of cells and then the rate of growth. Basically, you're just finding how many uh, cells uh, that you're gonna have in, in part D. Um, and then in part E, it says, when the pop, when will the population reach 20,000 cells and round to two decimal places? So you set Y equal to 20,000 and then solve it. We've got the equation. Now it's just a matter of just solving it. So you go, uh, part E is, and I, uh, I'm sorry if I'm trying to rush. I only have a, like a minute left in this recording. So I'm sorry if I'm trying to rush. You get 20,000 is equal to 55, 20,000 is equal to 55 E to the, 2.07944 to the T power. I divide by 55. I do 20,000 divided by 55. Um, and that gives me an answer of uh, 3.63. 3.63 uh, is equal to E to the 2.07944T. Uh, take a natural log of both sides to get rid of the E. Um, I take a natural log of that. And as I said, sorry, I'm rushing. Um, or I'm sorry, it's uh, 363. Uh, natural log of 363.63. Sorry. 363.63. I take a natural log of that. Um, that gives me an answer of 5.5. 5.5. 
5.896 equals 2.07944T. I divide by 2.07944. Thank you.